Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us see what is a manure. I mean how exactly is manure prepared? What, it, what is it that it is so very rich in nutrients? So manure is an organic substance that reach that increases soil fertility. Organic substance, any substance which contains carbon. So carbon containing substance is called organic substance. So it increases the soil fertility. So what exactly it is made up of? So let us quickly see how is manure prepared. So it is prepared by decomposition of animal excreta and plant wastes. This is extremely important. Now all the waste of animals and plants for example dead plants and animals or decaying remains of plants and animals so all these waste materials which comes out of plant and animals they are all decomposed decomposed means when bacteria and fungi acts on those dead and decaying matter they break them down into simple inorganic substances and these inorganic substances act as important nutrients to the plant so basically if you take a lot of waste materials, maybe cow dung or plant wastes or animal wastes, you take them all together and you leave them in a container and allow them to get decomposed. That means allow them to get rotten. So how do these things get rotten? By the action of microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. So when these microorganisms will act on these wastes, so organisms like bacteria or fungi, so they will tend to break down the organic substance into inorganic substances which are useful to the plants and that is how these nutrients will be formed in the soil and therefore the soil quality will become better or the soil fertility will increase. What is a manure made up of? So what are the constituents of manure? It consists of organic matter plus nutrients. Organic matter because the dead remains of plants and animals. What are they? Plants and animals are made up of organic matter. So their dead or decaying remains are made up of organic matter. Plus since these organisms are acting on them, so they will tend to convert a part of them into inorganic nutrients. So these nutrients like phosphorus or nitrogen or sulfur, so all these nutrients. So nutrients plus organic matter form the manure. And what is the function of manure? Its function is to improve the soil structure. What exactly it does to change the soil structure? It increases the water holding capacity of the soil. That means the soil can now hold more water. It can retain more water. Now, if the soil can retain more water, it is good for the plant because the plant will absorb water through their root hairs from the soil. So, if soil has more water, so the plant will be able to get more water. It also helps in drainage so it doesn't allow water to log in near the plants because sometimes plants die due to water logging. So it avoids water logging but at the same time it retains the water holding capacity of the soil. So here in this picture you can actually see that uh, rotten leaves and rotten animal products and excreta they have all been put together in a vessel and they have been allowed to get they have been mixed very well together and then they have been allowed to get decomposed by bacteria and fungi. So as they start decomposing a full smell start starts coming out and this full smell indicates that decomposition is taking place. So this actually, this mixture which has a very bad smell but it is actually very rich in organic matter as well as nutrients. So if you put them into the soil, it increases the quality of the soil and also the fertility. So let us now look at the various types of manures which are being prepared. So the first one is compost and vermicompost. So what is, let's see what is this. So animal and vegetable wastes are decomposed in pits to form compost and vermicompost. So what do we do? Wastes from animals like dead animals or dead plants or rotten plant, plant parts. So all these things are decomposed in pits. So a depression is created into the soil and there all these plant and animal wastes are being put there and left for decomposition. So over a period of time it forms compost and vermicompost. So here you can see this is how it looks like when it is properly mixed together all the wastes together. So the smell is not going to be really good but then 
the content or the way it is rich in organic matter and nutrients that is going to be extremely beneficial to the plants. So it is rich in organic matter and nutrients and that is why it helps in better growth of the plants. So the decomposition is done using earthworms and that is why organisms like earthworms are called farmer's friend because they help in the decomposition process. So earthworms along with the decomposers like bacteria and fungi, they all help in the decomposition. So in decomposition, what do they do? They break down the complex organic matter because animal and vegetable wastes, these are nothing but complex organic matter. So these decomposers, they break down complex organic matter into simple inorganic substances and these simple inorganic substances act as nutrients for the plants. So uh, pre the presence of organic matter as well as inorganic nutrients increases the quality of the soil. So here you can see this is how earthworms when present in the soil they increase the uh, quality of the soil. So not only this that earthworms help in the process of decomposition, earthworm helps to break down the complex matter into simpler pieces. At the same time the castings of earthworms they are also very rich in nutrients. So those castings also provides additional nutrients to the uh, soil. So earthworms the perform double role. One is they help in the process of decomposition. Secondly, they also add some additional nutrients to the soil. The next type of manure is a green manure. These are obtained from the green plants. So green plants uprooted and stuffed under the soil. So sometimes some plants are like uprooted from the soil and then they are put under the soil. So the green plants also contain a lot of organic matter and nutrients. So such plants are go grown for a specific period of time. So they provide nitrogen and phosphorus to the soil and both nitrogen and phosphorus they are macronutrients for the plants that means plants need them in larger amounts. So since these type of manure is obtained from green plants that is why they are called green manure. Now examples of green manures are sun, hemp or guver. These are examples of green manure. So you can see these plants they are grown for some time and after that they are uprooted and then they are put under the soil. So they again over a period of time will uh, provide nitrogen and phosphorus to the soil. So the soil will become rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. So now on that soil whichever new plant is grown they will be able to grow very nicely. Now let us look at some of the advantages of using manure. So by now we got to understand that manure is a substance which is prepared using dead and decaying remains of plants and animals. But this uh, manure at the same time is very rich in nutrients as well as organic matter. So advantages are that it improves the soil texture because it provides so many additional nutrients to the soil. So the soil quality increases. Uh, restore soil with all the nutrients for example sometimes the uh, nutrients which were present in the soil they get all used up by so many crops which are being planted on that field but the usage of this manure provides this nutrients back into the soil so it is like from externally we can put these nutrients and compensate the loss of nutrients from the soil so the next advantage is is increases the water retaining capacity of the soil as I mentioned before that it increases the water holding capacity of the soil so the soil is able to hold more water and if the soil has more water the plant is able to get more water for better growth and development it is non-toxic that is again a very important advantage that on one side usage of manure is giving us so many advantages that it increases the soil uh, fertility, it increases the crop productivity at the same time it is not causing any harm to the environment because it is not poisonous. It is eco-friendly when I say eco-friendly that means it is environment friendly. How is it environment friendly? Now first of all it is prepared from waste substances. So if you see it is prepared from plant and animal wastes. So it is a good utilization of waste products 
and it is not causing any sort of pollution so that means we can say that it is environmental friendly and you know what this is very very important these days that's because everywhere we see a lot of pollution of water, air, soil, which is going to harm all the living organisms in a in an adverse way. So if we are able to utilize something which is advantageous to us at the same time is environment friendly. So that is just awesome. So manure is something which has more advantages and if you look at it, not much disadvantages. It is a recycled biological project product recycled means it has been recycled from some other product so basically the wastes of plants and animals so when plants or animals die what will happen to their waste so what will happen to their dead and decaying matter coming out of plants or animals so if nothing but useful comes out of it it will just keep on dumping on earth so basically that gets recycled to form something as useful as manure thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.